Hey guys, I'm with Svalbard, Norway, and uh, I'm here for work. Done working, it's 9 p.m. Good thing is the sun never sets, so I got plenty of time to check out this old abandoned looking mine. Looks pretty cool, so uh, let's take a look. It's a pretty steep climb, but I'm sure we're gonna make it. Let's see if we can get there. So I'm on my way to mine number two. It's also called the Santa Mine because during Christmas season children can send their wish list here. Well, what I didn't tell you is that there are a lot of polar bears here in Svalbard. What would a polar bear do in the mountains, we say? But two girls got killed over there on the top of the mountain. Pretty sad story, but that means that we have to be really careful. So uh, let's continue with cautious. I see some big pawn prints. Let's hope they're not from a polar bear. It's pretty epic. Looks also like a death trap. A lot of ice, a lot of unstable floors. These used to be tracks, a train for coal transportation. This mine opened in 1913. The mine was set on fire by a German battleship during World War II and it burned until 1962. In the winter of 1968, the coal production was expelled in the shaft and got abandoned. There's a really thick layer of ice here. I think these miners had to work here in really harsh conditions. There's quite a lot of stuff here. Especially when you imagine it's abandoned since 1968. So this stuff is lying here for a long time. Probably has been moved a lot of times, but still nice to see some artifacts left. Looks like a nice room to chill or hang out to friends and the view is also great check this out there's not much that can beat this view wow and it's foggy and it's a snowstorm so it should be even better when the sky is clear all right there's another door over there let's check it very slippery again Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I also feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, pictures. Nice, it's still there after all these years. I don't have my stabilizer with me. Oh, apologies for that. Damn, I almost broke my ankle. So we're going deeper into the mine. So this is another entry of the actual coal mine itself that goes under the ground, under the rocks and it's completely sealed off by ice Pretty big, didn't expect it that big. A lot of rooms. Oh, all right, this part is melted. <laughs> Luckily, you got waterproof shoes. Oh. Oh. All right, so we're playing there. All right, we're on the other side. You can also see some footsteps. But it doesn't mean there have been people recently because it's like permafrost. It's constant. Metal parts, not really rusted. Nice. There's still some really old mining equipment, like a drill. Well, this path probably leads to another mine entrance. This entrance is also blocked, but 
Maybe you can slide through. Check this. <laughs> so I went down the stairs. And then you see this. Oh my god. This is where the coal came out. This you can pull and then it opens. Oh, it still works. You can see. So the coal comes out and it opens. <laughs> what is this? So I guess at one point this was a museum. But it became too unstable and then they closed it. So I think that's what happened. So we uh, almost explored the whole complex. The only thing I didn't do is going through the shaft. I decided not to go because when my battery dies, I'm gonna be stuck in there. It's pitch black, so yeah, I'm not gonna die up here, man. It's not worth it. So uh, thanks for watching and wish me luck because I still have a really long way to go. I think my cabin it's right over there, so it's 250 meters down. Hopefully it goes easier than going up.